everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be organizing ideas that you probably haven't considered. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some of these sprinkled throughout my Instagram feed. I'm at Sophisticated Organization as well over there if you don't follow me and wanna check it out. But I'm really excited because I have compiled my top 10 favorite organizing hacks, ideas, whatever you wanna call them, and they're things that apply throughout your whole home, things you can use in multiple rooms, and again, they're very unique organizing ideas. So if you guys are excited and ready for it, let's jump right into this video. So my first tip is to use office products like letter sorters and file organizers to organize your clutches and your sandals. So you'll see that I have a file organizer at the top here, then moving down, I have more letter sorters for some of my clutches and more letter sorters for my sandals and flip flops. It's really easy to pull them in and out. I love how everything's divided and it's super compact so it doesn't take up a bunch of space. And this is a tip whenever you're looking for different organizing products and can't find something that works exactly for you, think outside of the box. Of course, you wouldn't normally think an office product would be a good fit for your sandals or for your purses, but here it works perfectly and I always suggest it. Tip number two is for cord management. If you're like me and you work from home and you have tons of cords everywhere, you might wanna use this tip. So I like to unplug everything at the end of the workday. It definitely doesn't happen every single day. It always happens on Fridays though. I like to have a clean space for the weekend, but I actually like to use command hooks and I use them on the side of my monitor stand. That way I can keep them right there, easy to access. They don't fall back behind my desk and I have to go moving things around, trying to grab it. And you can use a command hook that fits whatever size cord that you have and they won't fall through and it's the perfect solution. So I'm gonna clean up my desk and show you how it works. So my next organizing idea that you may not have considered is to use your hanging space creatively. So I already showed you how I store some of my clutches and smaller purses, but I have this closet behind me in our extra bedroom that we use as storage space. And I was trying to find a solution for our backpacks and larger tote bags that take up just a bunch of room. And so I decided to use our hanging space behind me and use just regular hangers. This is something you can do super easy. You don't need to go out and buy extra products. And I was able to take advantage of space that was otherwise going unused by putting my purses, tote bags, and backpacks up there. So it's super easy for backpacks. You're just gonna put both of the arms through the end of the hanger. And then I like to use the loop at the top, right over the top of the hanger. That way it doesn't tip forward. And then you'll see tote bags are super easy to store that way as well. And it's the perfect creative solution. This next one is one of my favorites and it's a solution I found for swimsuit organization. Now I used to throw them all in a bin in my closet and it was just a complete mess. And I'm sure most of you deal with the same problem or maybe you throw yours in a drawer. It's all the same issue. But I found these little mesh bags on Amazon and I think I found the perfect size. It fits one pieces, it fits two pieces, both the top and the bottom in one little mesh baggie. And I like to put the top part where it bunches up actually down in my drawer. So I have this flat side up and it looks nice and neat and I file fold them, of course, in rainbow order. And I do use drawer dividers, they're bamboo, they match my drawers, so I really like those and I'll link those in the description box as well. But even if you don't use drawer dividers and you don't like the file folding method and you have a bin that you throw in your closet or just wanna toss them in your drawer, if you put them together in little baggies like this, it's going to look so much neater and tidier. You're going to thank me for this. And I bet you could find other solutions where you could use these little baggies in your closet as well, whether it's 
socks or maybe lingerie items or something like that that you want to keep together and contained. So if you've never tried this, I definitely challenge you to give it a try and see how it reorganizes your swimsuits. I get questions all the time about decanting kitchen products, especially you'll see behind me in my pantry. I love decanting items that I use often, but so often people ask me, what do you do with the instructions? What do you do with the expiration dates? I do love to put the expiration dates on the bottom of the container and then I can just wipe it off with a little bit of alcohol when I refill it. But the solution of instructions or ingredients or anything that you're really trying to keep track of, I just cut out the part of the packaging that has whatever I wanna maintain. And I like to apply a little sticky pocket to the outside of my OXO containers or whatever other container you're decanting into. They're super easy to stick on and all you do is slip the instructions in or slip the nutrition facts into that pocket and then every single time you go to cook, it's right there, you know exactly how long to cook things for, you know exactly the instructions. So super easy hack and it's right there for you every time. If you've ever thought to yourself, I love having drawer organizers, it's great, they keep things nice and neat and tidy, except I hate the fact that every single time I open my drawer, they slide around because I couldn't get the perfect fit, then I have the solution for you, and it is Museum Putty and Museum Gel. Now these two magical products are perfect for keeping your drawer organizers in place no matter how hard you open that drawer. So I really like putting a little dot of either of them in the corner of every single organizer and pushing them down into the drawer that way they don't move around. Now, Museum Gel is probably my favorite. It comes in this larger container and you can just pull off a little piece of it, you'll see like that, and make a ball with your fingers and then stick it on the corner of the organizer. I like how it's clear. I love using acrylic organizers. So if you use the Museum Gel, you don't see it with the acrylic clear organizers. Museum Putty is not clear, so just be aware of that. You would wanna use it with more opaque organizers. Now I do have another solution for you if you don't have museum gel or museum putty and don't want to buy either of those. If you have a glue gun at home, you can try doing it yourself by putting little glue gun dots in the corner of each organizer. That will help to make it so it doesn't slip as much. It won't hold things in place like the museum putty and the museum gel quite do, but it will help you quite a bit. So you'll see as I open the drawer with the museum gel in place, things don't move around. It's nice and sticky, but not too sticky, so it doesn't damage your drawers, which is also really nice. So out of all three options, the glue dots with a hot glue gun, the museum putty, and the museum gel, I would recommend getting yourself one of these museum gel containers. It'll last you, I mean, through a whole household, plus more if you buy one of these containers. So this is all you need. This organizing solution is one of my favorites in the kitchen, but you could definitely use it in other places in your home, and it's adhesive acrylic bins. Now, my number one spot in the entire kitchen, to put it, is under the kitchen sink. I use it for cleaning products on both sides. So I have a glass cleaner here, a multi-surface cleaner, and then my daily sink scrub. And I love how easy things are to access. I don't have to bend all the way down to go under the sink to grab things. It's just right here so I can reach while I'm still standing up. In my last apartment, I used it in my kitchen as well to keep trivets or hot pads, things like that are another great solution. So if you feel like you don't have enough space in your kitchen or maybe in your bathroom or somewhere else, try adhesive bins. It brings extra storage on the inside of your cabinet where you wouldn't normally have any storage. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that this is one of my favorite hacks and organizing ideas 
you haven't followed me for a while, I can prove to you that it's one of my favorites because of how often I use it. And that is using photo cases to organize small items. Now I use two different sizes. You'll see this large stack here is the smaller size. And then I have a little bit of a larger size that actually perfectly fits dryer sheets. So you'll see I have my regular dryer sheets and then dryer sheets for my sportswear and my athletic clothing. So I have a couple of these. I also have one for my sheets and bedding, but it's the perfect size so I can decant things out of the boxes and put them in here. And then with my other photo organizers, I keep bathroom products in there. I have some of my craft items. You'll see I have some Dayquil and Nyquil. A great tip there is to cut out the instructions and dosage information and put that in the photo organizer as well so you don't lose track of that when you're taking medication. But I love using these for all different purposes. Again, you can use them throughout your entire home. They're great for spaces where you don't have a lot of drawer space and you wanna stack them. I have a very deep drawer in my bathroom and I actually file fold them and have labels on them so I can see exactly what every thing is. Another great place to try using these would be in your car. You could keep Kleenex in there, some chapstick, whatever other items you like to keep in there, but it keeps it nice and neat, contained, and organized. This next one takes decanting to a whole new level and it's decanting your board games into these little zipper pouches. Now I got mine from Amazon in a variety of sizes. I like getting the mixed pack of bags for a particular reason. So you'll see here that I have my Monsters Inc. Monopoly, a really fun version of Monopoly that I have from a while ago. And I have it in a smaller zipper pouch here, but even inside of this zipper pouch, I keep another pouch with all of the houses, hotels, and game pieces like that to keep things from moving around. And then I also have all of the properties, rubber banded, as well as some of the other cards and money. So you're thinking, how does the Monopoly board fit in here? It obviously doesn't. So I do keep the board separate in this drawer where we keep all of our games. And you'll see it works for other things. I have Taboo in here, <laughs> you can hear it. And then I have another version of Monopoly as well, actually. And this version is kind of an old school looking version and the whole board fits in here. So I'm able to keep the entire thing in one of the larger zipper pouches. And then again, have smaller zipper pouches inside for some of the smaller game pieces. Now this solution does not work for all games. So we have things in the drawer here like playing cards. I just leave those in here. You could, of course, stick them in a small pouch if you wanted everything to look uniform. I also have Cards Against Humanity, and this is all cards. So it was kind of silly for me to put it in a zipper pouch and just rubber band it in all of these sections, so I left that in here. But if you're somebody who has a ton of board games, this solution will save you so much space. If you think about the size of those board game boxes, I wish I had one here to show you, but of course I've gotten rid of all of them. You know that these thin zipper pouches take up so much less space and you can file fold them so you can see everything nice and easily. I use a very large label on here. You can also cut out a part of the cardboard box that the game comes in and just use some packing tape and tape right over it and use that as your label as well. Super fun and colorful and that works great. So I love this solution. Last but not least is this business card and gift card organizer. This thing has proved to be so useful in the past. I love to keep all of my gift cards in one spot. That way I don't forget about them and I know exactly where they are so that money doesn't go unspent. I'm sure some of you have had some gift cards that you've lost track of or just completely forgotten that you had and haven't spent that money. So when you have it all in one spot and nice and organized like this, then you're gonna remember to use those gift cards. Now it's a great place to also put coupons and organize those as well. You won't forget about them. You'll make sure you use them. And then of course, business cards. Now, most of my business cards that I get from other people, I try and digitize those contacts or take a photo of it or something like that. If I wanna actually 
hold on to that person's information. So often you get business cards and you just toss them because you don't need to know that information. And I would definitely recommend you throw away the business cards that you don't need or digitize them but it's a great spot for you to put your own personal business card. So I have some for work, I have some for sophisticated organization in here, and I like to store them in here so I have all of my backups and can grab some and take them with me whenever I'm going somewhere or mailing something that I might need a business card. So I also would recommend that you guys look at getting a greeting card organizer. I have one of those as well. I actually showed you guys setting it up in my holiday prep video, which I'll link in the cards above. So greeting card organizers, as well as business card and gift card organizers are a great solution. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you guys found a hack or an idea that you haven't tried before and you want to give a try, make sure to leave a comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. I always appreciate, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I truly appreciate every single one of you that takes the time to press that subscribe button. Connect with me in the comments below. I love getting to know you guys. And if you have another video idea that you'd love to see from me, of course, leave that in the comments as well. But until next time, I will see you guys later.